Hey team, thanks so much for tuning into our show today. Uh, we love having you each and every day listen to these videos on health and fitness and nutrition, functional medicine, all that great stuff to become a better individual. So, what do I want to talk about today? Today, I want to talk about five or six, maybe, maybe a bonus, uh, ways that you can improve your brain function to ward off Alzheimer's, dementia, a lot of the diseases that we are seeing in our world today where people are having, you know, brain fog, uh, can't remember anything, so stress levels are going through the roof. They do that for so many years, and then down the road, folks, they got all these diseases they get diagnosed with, and things don't go so well. So we want to catch that right now and give you guys some ways to improve, all right? That's our goal for, for the show today. And I, and I do this because, as you guys know, I do a lot of corporate work throughout the day, and then in the evenings and weekends, I try and help people out from all over this world on stuff like this for health. So five, six tips uh, for you guys to improve brain function and uh, ward off all these diseases that are so prevalent with uh, cognitive performance. So number one, brain food. Uh, whew, this is a big one. As you know, we run many different labs on people and we look for ways that can help you improve your game. Uh, one thing that stands out for me in any types of the food that you guys want is Omega threes. So you can look at wild caught salmon. You can look at blueberries. They call you know blueberries called brain food. Avocados, right? Excellent sources of uh, healthy fats as well. Your brain, sixty percent fat. Your brain is made up of. Get the avocados in you. Um, also, leafy vegetables. You guys know this because I've talked about vegetables for so long. But get your nice leafy vegetables in you. Uh, so many good things that they can provide for you energy, you know, your B vitamins, all the kind of great things that are great for your brain. Everyone knows B vitamins are good for the brain. DHA, always a good source of fats for your brain. I say it to my family with the fish oils that we have and the cod liver oil and the kids have all their stuff. Get that in you. Helps gray matter. Um, it helps neuroplasticity. So it protects your brain as well. These brain foods are excellent. I could go on and on and on about them. Just get these good quality foods in to protect your brain. Number two, eliminate negative thoughts. Whew, real big one for people. Uh, I get a lot of questions on thinking, right? So a lot of questions on people self-sabotaging themselves, right? So they want to go forward, but the negative thought holds them back. They want to progress in life, but you know, something from the past uh, creeps up and says, don't do that, don't taste that, you know, fear, negative thinking. Couple things here. If you have one negative thought and it comes in your brain and you want to get rid of it, replace that with three, th three positive thoughts right away. Take that one negative, replace it with three positive thoughts. It will overwhelm that neural pathway for that one negative thought. Flood out the negative thought with three positive ones, all right? Also, the 90 second rule. That means what we're talking about there is that if you get frustrated or you have you know, bad thinking come in and you are having you know, all of these issues that you know, your day's not going well, something happened, bad day at work, family member, 90 seconds, let it pass. And then move on. So think about it for 90 seconds, internalize it, think about what went wrong, and then let it go. Don't wait a week, month, a year. Some people hold on to negative thoughts, some people hold on to bad relationships, some people hold on to people who've done them wrong for years. It eats you up, folks. Get rid of the negative thoughts. Eliminate negative thoughts. Number three, one of my favorites, exercise, right? So why is exercise so important for the brain and warding off these diseases I talk about? something called brain drive neurotrophic factor, BDNF. Uh, it's amazing at creating new neural pathways. When you have, when you work out and exercise, you create more BDNF and you create more connections and more neural pathways in your brain, okay? Just think BDNF and exercise. Also, peptide YY, you have more uh, epinephrine, more norepinephrine, uh, there's so testosterone, there's so many different hormones that are created when you work out that benefit your brain, all right? Think hormones, think BDNF, Great way to improve your overall brain function. Scientifically proven, I see it with people all over. I was a personal trainer in the past too, so I really, really, uh, I know this pretty well. All right, four, one of my biggest ones, you guys hear me talk about a lot, uh, sleep. Whew, real big one. As you know, with our 42 kids right now, I'm having a hard time sleeping. Uh, I really, I get poked by my little guy, Caleb, sometimes. The baby's really good. Uh, the older ones, they get up once in a while, could be a bloody nose, could be sickness, but sleep is fundamental. Some people have the top of their list, okay? This is no particular order for brain health, right? You physiologically and physically repair yourself when you sleep. It also consolidates short-term memory into long-term memory, clears plaque out of the brain. Uh, you guys know about brain the formation of plaque in the brain. Sleep helps clear out the plaque in your brain, as well, REM. 
That REM sleep, you need that REM sleep team for creativity. Rapid eye movement is what it stands for, right? Good REM sleep is good for creativity. I can't stress how important sleep is. Um, you guys can probably tell by my excitement here. Wish I had more of it, wish I could do more of it. I'll get there, right? Kids will grow up, so will I. Um, but sleep is really important for your brain function. They've done studies where if you don't get sleep through a few days, like, you know, two, three, four days, whatever the study is, that they equate it to being drunk, so intoxicated. That's how poorly your brain functions when you do not sleep adequately for an extended period of time. All right, that's a big one. Oh, my fifth one, clean environment. You guys have heard me talk in the past about EMFs. You've heard me talk in the past about, you know, uh, mold. I'm gonna give you two stories. I'll actually give you a stat and a story. And also radiation and toxicity from, you know, either bacteria or, or metals, et cetera. But number one, there's this, another study out there that 90% of kids sleep with their phone under their pillow. You gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me on this, folks. You can't be doing that. Those little devices, I'm recording from about six feet away, release EMF, right? Electromagnetic frequencies. They'll say it's safe. Okay, you do whatever you want. Don't put the phones under your kids' pillows. Don't let them do it, right? 90% do. Also, with the biome test recently, we did some studies and I had, had a biome lab for somebody. There's a lot of labs that I, I see, make dozens and dozens of biome, as you know, on, on bacteria. And this one gentleman uh, in particular, you know, had a high level of a certain bacteria that's associated with working around metals. It's associated with, you know, hospitals. It's antibiotic resistant, okay? But my point is, know your environment, right? So this person here is gonna have to do a lot of work to get rid of this bacteria that's not very good, all right? So know your environment and what you're exposed to. You know, metals, radiation, EMF, mold, know it. Bonus, what's the bonus? Ha! Positive peer group, all right? Get around a positive peer group. And why do I say that? Um, about, you've heard Jim Rohn say, Wayne Dyer, you are the closest, you're the average of the five closest friends you spend the most time with, right? So my point is, is that your peer group really influences who you are and what you become. Smoking is not necessarily a genetic disorder, but if nine out of your 10 friends smoke, you're probably gonna be the 10th, all right? If nine out of your 10 friends drink heavily, you're probably gonna be the 10th, right? Get around a good peer group. Just like if you hang around a lot of millionaires, which I try to do, kidding, uh, you will become a millionaire, all right? If you hang around the right people for long enough, you are the average of your five closest friends. That includes Finn, my wife said, what about me? I said, okay, well, we're about you after. But nonetheless, get around good people, all right? Other ones, positive, uh, sorry, um, protection of the brain, do new learnings, um, you know, always be educating yourself and learning, super important for the brain. I want to give a lot of this credit to this here, to Jim Quick. Jim Quick is a brain coach, uh, he's amazing. I've talked about him before in the podcast where he does a lot of great work for people. Um, so Jim Quick, uh, you know, is responsible for a lot of this because, you know, I was listening to him on the way home today and all of these play out my everyday life. When I see clients or patients to help them out and just to keep them on the right track, when I see them and I see the everyday person ask me at the hockey arena or they ask me at swimming or in the streets, trust me, I get this question every time. I just check an email here on my other account and I got four new emails on health, okay? And people wanting to do better with their health. Uh, it's important, okay? This is all really, really important stuff and that's why I want to relay this to you I see it in my everyday practice. Jim Quick reiterated it to me and I wanted to always give credit to people who are always transcending and transforming their lives. Team, as you know, can't take on new patients, but we can help out to do this. We give back, right? We try and give back to people in society for what we've learned for decades, okay? From seeing hundreds of patients, from reading the literature, from everything, from the science to, to it's just incredible what you can learn when you want to pay attention and listen and read, okay? This is why we do it. So. Uh, MikeDaciuk.com is the website, M-I-K-E-D-A-C-I-U-K.com. It's just free information there. Go over there and take a look at the free information on health. And you can always reach us through that mechanism. All right, take care, live with passion, live with purpose, live with intent. We love doing this for you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.